India has a prolonged history of copper mining and metallurgy since the age of the Harappan civilizations. The earliest evidence of ancient copper mining in India has been found in the Khetri region of Rajasthan dating back to about the 3rd to the 2nd millennium BC. Hindustan Copper Limited, the nation's only copper mining company, carries forward the glorious legacy with landmark achievements in the history of copper mining owning seven mining leases across the country incorporated on the 9th of November 1967 as a central public sector enterprise under the administrative control of the Ministry of Mines, HCL has the distinction of being the nation's sole vertically integrated copper producer with mining, beneficiation, smelting and refining facilities. Conferred with the status of Miniratna Category 1, the company has registered its presence across the entire value chain of copper. With products acknowledged for their superior quality and reliability. HCL's facilities include K3 Copper Complex in Rajasthan, Indian Copper Complex in Jharkhand, Malajkhand Copper Project in Madhya Pradesh, the Loja Copper Project in Maharashtra and Gujarat Copper Project in Gujarat. The company is headquartered in Kolkata, West Bengal. Development of K3 Mine in the Aravalli foothills was started by NMDC, which was handed over to HCL in 1967 at the time of its formation. Currently, under K3 Mining Lease, K3 and Banvas Blocks, are in operation as underground mines and under the Kolihan mining lease. Underground mine at Kolihan is also in operation, whereas the open pit at Chandmari block has reached its final depth. Indian Copper Corporation was established as a British company in 1924 at Ghatsila by purchasing the mining rights at Mosaboni. In 1972, the government of India nationalized the company, renamed it as Indian Copper Complex and brought it under the administrative control of HCL along with a number of mining, smelting and refining facilities. Currently, two underground mines are operating in Surda Lees and Kendadi Lees. Reopening of Rakha Mines and mining from the Greenfield Chapri Block under the Rakha Mining Lees is under active consideration. Malanchkant Copper Project was established in 1982. Initial project has been set up by HCL to exploit the copper ore through an open pit mine. However, presently, due to increase in the depth of operations over the years, it is now being developed into a state-of-the-art underground copper mine. The Loja Copper Project was set up in December 1989 based on technology sourced from Southwire, USA. The project has facilities for producing continuous cast copper wire rods from cathodes. On October 6, 2016, HCL dedicated to the nation its fifth unit at Jagaria Bharuch, Gujarat, which has the versatility to treat various copper-bearing materials in an eco-friendly manner. Copper is one of the most versatile metals known to man across civilizations. 
acknowledged the world over for its eternal properties. Its use is manifested in a wide range of applications cutting across industries as diverse as electrical, electronic, telecommunication, refrigeration, transport, defense, railways, construction and architecture to name a few. The demand of copper is expected to soar in the days to come with rapid growth in industrial sector. Copper is also pivotal to green economy with new age demand drivers like electric vehicles, renewable energy and digitization. Further, with the increase in urbanization, rural electrification, affordable housing schemes and industrializations invigorated by the Government of India initiatives like Make in India, Smart City, etc., there will be a growing demand for copper, while the world risks running out of the metal amid widening supply and demand deficits. COVID-19 has also reaffirmed copper's usage in the healthcare industry by the virtue of its antimicrobial properties. Consequently, it is the need of the hour for our nation to be self-reliant in copper. As a measure to reduce the nation's dependence on imported copper concentrate and to nurture our self-generating economy, HCL has embarked on an ambitious expansion drive to enhance copper ore production from its current level of about 4 million tons per annum to 12.2 million tons per annum in phase 1 by the financial year 2028-29. The company is poised to emerge as a dominant mining player in the years to come. With the mission of exhorting Atmanir Bharta beyond the mining borders, HCL has taken up several projects like promoting preventive health care, making available safe drinking water facility, promoting education and employment, enhancing vocational skills, livelihood opportunities, promoting environmental sustainability, to empower the locals and garner self-sufficiency in the lives of those staying in and around its mining units. HCL has launched a platform to promote micro-enterprises for craftsmen in various user segments of copper, especially with the mission to revive Dokra Craft, one of the earliest known methods of metal casting using lost wax casting technique, reflecting the beauty of life in its various forms. In service to the nation since 1967, Hindustan Copper Limited pledges to ensure efficient utilization of the country's copper resources on a sustainable basis and thus play a colossal role in nation building.